Welcome to Something Games, the place to find new strategy games and I'm going to show you how to do all the objectives in time on a normal difficulty. So we're going to start this off with the first Vadi Akarit, obviously. Now this is a guide slash walkthrough because some of the things we're going to do are quite reactive so you might not be able to do exactly what I'm doing because you have slightly different things but I'm going to try to give you some like general tips on how to do it. Now in the conference you want to take as many airstrikes as possible. I'm currently not going to take anything because the things you get are random. So you might not be able to get it so I'm going to take nothing. But I'd highly recommend you take any uh, airstrike units that you can. So let's start this with Vadi Akart and off we go. So the big part of this map is that you want to take over their supply unit. So ideally you want to take over these two but more importantly you normally get something over here because the supplies go through the train rails and if you can stand on this position can block it and then all of these units are going to be out of supply and if they get to out of supply for two consecutive turns they cannot hurt you anymore they didn't have an attack action so this is a really important tactic aside from that we need to focus on McNassie pass and Fondoke pass because we need to get that as soon as possible now in the battle pre preparation the thing I like to do is take these HQs and move them forward now why are we doing that the reason why we're doing that is because when you are going to be fighting you're going to have some like disbanded units and you're going to get stragglers and what the stragglers do they move to the closest HQ and then you can use them to add a step to other units so it's going to add a suppressed step and on the next turn when it's applied it's going to get activated. So you want to make sure that the HQs get fairly close. Now, of course, the closer they are, the riskier it is. The other HQs, are going to keep them where they are. So we're going to go now. All right, so first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to grab this tank and attack Fate Pass. And then we're going to use these guys and hit them up again. Okay, and then you want to get ready because the next time what you want to do is you want to move through this. Now, sometimes you can get lucky that you can make them sort of run away already and then you can move through immediately on the first turn. But even if that doesn't happen, that's okay. Next up, you're going to get this string, use extended movement and get it as close as possible to the McNasty Pass. And then you're going to be using your airstrike onto this tank in McNasty Pass. The idea is that you need, it's okay, so I didn't do anything, but that's okay. We're going to try to, again, break through this, get our tank ideally to this position. Now, because we have that other tank there, it's already protecting, making sure that this tank can run through. So what we're going to do is we're going to step through this over here. Now, this is going to be out of supply next turn, which is a bit problematic, but that's okay. You could try to fix it by adding a um track over here which is actually what we're gonna do but it's in most cases it's not gonna help you because the enemy can easily undercut you by moving through this and then this is gonna be out of supply anyway but I have added the track there just in case the enemy doesn't choose to do that good idea to be prepared you could also move into the mountains here which is gonna help you create a better supply zone so now because I did that we have a bit more space here so even if the enemy moves well actually if he moves still here then it's he's still blocking this guy but if you move for example here we have a different supply route through this that could still help me supply this particular track so that's why it can be a good idea to try to make your supply zones as wide as possible now next up what we're going to need to focus is here so we're going to grab this unit and try to move it like so and because you if you look at this if you attack normally we're just gonna die so we need to use some of our special abilities so we have suppressive fire faint attack and set piece attack in my experience the suppressive fire is the faint attack is usually worse than the suppressive fire and then what the set piece attack does is it lowers the enemy fortification and entrenchment. So if you see this little arrow in the orange thing, it means that the enemy is entrenched. And because these guys had that as well, and because I used on them the set piece attack and now lower than entrenchment, these guys are actually fortified. So if um, you use entrenchment on them, it's going to lower it. Uh, so if you use a set piece attack on them, it's going to lower it to entrenchment. Alternatively, we could use suppressive fire and a lower um, suppress two of their steps so we're going to do that instead here we're going to be using actually here we probably want to use suppressive attack as well no so you can see suppressive attack is completely useless here so instead we want to use set piece attack which didn't really help us out either but it was a good attempt 
Also, I'm gonna move these guys. Now they're gonna stay. All right, so we've done all of that. Next up over here, you just wanna move and do these one-one attacks where you can. And then finally, we're gonna focus on this group down here. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna try to breach upwards or into the side, but you don't wanna take unnecessary risk. So you only wanna take attacks that are favorable to you or one-one. Now up here, we, if we use the set piece attack, the problem is that we can no longer move this unit, which means that if you're gonna kinda hog this position so we don't want it, so instead we're gonna be using a suppressive fire on these guys in the back. And then I can grab this unit and move it out. Like for example to there. I'm gonna move this, the tank in the position and we can attack this without any losses to us, which is great. And we can move even closer, but we probably wanna allow a different tank to go. Yeah, we're gonna move this tank there, attack these guys. And ooh, this over here to attack them, that's really good. And we can we can move this tank away. So we'll move that tank, I think. I think I'll move it forward just so we can get a bit ahead. And we'll move this tank here and use a 1 1 attack on these guys. And we'll take a step back with the tank so um, someone else can go like these guys. Now, this is going to be different, obviously, for you depending on how you manage to attack and how. But the, the idea is, is only take 1 1 or other attacks that you can, or favorable attacks to you, obviously. And they're kind of trying to break forward. Actually, this group could go. Can't really go anywhere. Now, through these uh, great things, you cannot move through. All right, so that seems to be the only thing we can do over here. So we did all the movement we could, and we are now done. We'll let the enemy have a turn. Now they're obviously going to try to attack that track because they know that it's dangerous towards their supply. So we'll see if they manage to kill it or not. We really hope that they don't, but you never know what's going to happen. They're also resupplying their units. Now they've moved backwards here quite a bit, which gives us a huge benefit. It means we can sort of move through this. And we can get to this position, which is what we mean. We're going to try to move through this supply thing. Ideally, do I have a tank that needs to get resupplied? I don't. But either way, I'm going to move this thing over here, take over their supplies and hit these guys. Now that means that all of these units are going to be unsupplied now. Then I'm going to grab this other tank and move it like, like this. Now remember, we have one more turn for both the Funder Pass and Magnancy Pass, so we don't have to worry about this too much just yet, but it's going to be a big deal fairly soon. Now we're going to attack this tank because it's 0-2, doesn't hurt us at all. Important. Now we want to connect this up if possible, so I'm going to try to move like this, because that's going to give me both of these thingies, not necessarily because I need to move in that position. If I just move straight through, I would take the prisoners, but it wouldn't really give me that point. Oh, we can we can keep attacking so we're gonna attack these guys and we get an overrun bonus so we can we, we can we can move at least so i think we're gonna move i didn't want to move i kind of like I, i'm gonna move to here so that i can um block the supply fully if you click b on the keyboard you can see they're supplying so they're greatly supplied over here but we completely blocked this Then I'm going to move to there and attack this tank because that's good for us. Zero three is not really helpful. One one. I'm going to move to here again just to extend my supply zone. And we're going to do the one one attack. Ideally, I would like to step with something over to here, but I don't think we're going to have that option with our other units. Now, what's important is that only this is out of supply right now. All of these are going to get out, out of, and this as well, out of supply next turn. But these two are going to be out of supply for two turns, which means that they are unable to have an action point, so they cannot hurt you. So you can you can completely ignore them, but you can like sort of ignore them. 
And what I mean by that, why can't you completely ignore them? Well, if for example, they grab, they can still move. So if they grab this truck and move over to here, they can block my own supply line. So you really want to make sure that they never do that. So if I'm going to do this, which I'm doing, I'm going to need to make sure that this sort of supply here is protected. So I'm going to actually, they can, they can only move through this because this grating is blocking them. So they're safe. Let's use faint attack. And we'll move this group closer. And that's it. We don't want to attack over here. Okay, up here we're still going to do... Oh, this is a 0 to attack, so definitely. This is a three zero five zero. Okay, so here we'll just use Suppressive Fire. Guys, great. And we'll stay... We're going to... St we're actually going to move these guys down here. And these ones forward, I think. It should be okay, yeah. Really gotta make sure that you do not let them get third. Three one, this is not good. So we're gonna try to use our airstrikes. The thing is, we're gonna have to use our airstrikes up here. We can handle this tank later with the tanks that we have around it. So I think we're gonna try to focus on attacking this. This is the founder pass. This is the thing we care about the most. Now, at this point, we could do okay. We could do a zero two here. I was gonna say the one two. I would probably still take it simply so that I can take over the funded spot and not have to worry about it. So I could move through to there, but then I can hit these guys up. Actually, I could with some of our abilities like faint attack. I will use faint attack. And then we're going to move these guys to here, and these guys are going to use their set piece attack. This group, get rid of their entrenchment. And they're also probably going to die next time if they choose to attack me. Now, at this point, okay, we have some units that we can deploy. So, usually you want to put it, okay, so we don't have that option, but if we did on this unit, uh, you want to put it in units that have as little steps as possible. However, you want to make sure that the unit doesn't die. So, putting it on this unit over here would probably be risky. I'm going to put it over there. Now, we can get a zero to attack here, which is great, and it's going to allow us to move through. So, we're definitely going to do it. It's going to give us extra truck to make sure that we can... Go there. Could we attack these guys while we... I'm gonna move like this and attack this tank. Now, I could move through and kill off this tank, but I can't afford to do it because I need to be blocking this particular tank. That's super important. So that it doesn't get turned and take over that supply, so we're not gonna be doing that. Now, then you wanna keep looking at all of your HQs and make sure that... Uh, if there are any things to deploy, that you deploy it. We still have some abilities. Can we not use any of them yet? And now. Okay, I guess we used up what we could. We could move this forward. I kind of like staying on this supply thing. It's going to be fine. So let's, uh, let me check my own supplies. We are supplied everywhere. Good. So we can end the turn. Next turn we need to take the McNasty Pass. Okay, so it did a pretty good move. It, it um, blocked the tank from getting supplied, which is okay. Not really a big deal for us. We can immediately get it supplied again. Like we can just move like this, obviously. However, keep in mind that we need to destroy this McNasty Pass first. So, we're gonna send an airstrike on this unit. Zero one one one. So we'll use a zero one here. I wonder if it would be more effective to use suppressive fire. I think we're gonna do it. And then this unit should be able to insta-kill it. Perfect. Then this tank can move forward. And this tank... Oh, we, we get a free, free this. Okay. And this tank can move to here, which is going to create the connection, which is what I need. Then I'm going to kill off this tank here. 
and move like that. Now this is out of supply for, for two turns already, so it can hit me. So the only thing we need to do is block the movement. I'm going to move up here and hit this. And then I'm going to move to there like this and get their supply thing. And then we're going to move upwards to here and attack this. Good. Now we've taken all we needed this turn. So right now I'm just going to make sure that they're not going to run through me. So I think we're a bit open in here, but we're going to kind of, I think we're safer the way. Actually, let's move this at least a step further so we get a little bit of an opening like that. And we'll see. Okay, never mind. Let's focus on this up here. So we could do a 0-1 attack here. So do it. That's definitely nothing to think about. We could move further. 1-1 one, one attack. Not sure that I want to take it. Oh, zero three over here, definitely a good call. We could move through there, but then we're not blocking these guys. The thing is, I'd really like to move somewhere so we can take more of a the control zone. But we could move, these guys can move to there, and then these guys could move to here and attack this. It's gonna give us that extra point, I like it. One one. Let's just keep using maybe suppressive fire on this group up here. Seems like a safer choice for us. One one. Since we don't seem to need the faint attack, I'm just going to use it. Uh, you don't need the points. I wanted to say I'm going to use it on this group here. Also, I'd like to deploy any more units if I have. I don't. Okay, good, good, good. That's fine. We did all we wanted. Yeah, okay. Well, now I'm currently checking that this group couldn't go through, but if it moves to here, it's still blocked from that, so we're fine. And we've got one turn for Chiron, which we uh, actually two, one turn for Sfax. Move further, see what we've got. We're gonna use a faint attack on this. Right, so we're going to kind of move towards this fact so we can get prepared for next turn when we're going to need it. These guys should be... These guys don't need to be here, so use extended movement again to just get as far there as possible. This is blocking that. That's fine. Oh, we can attack these guys, so let's do it. 1-1 one, one is probably not effective in this case. I mean, yeah, go on, let's do it. And these guys could use like faint attack or something. That 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 was a bit of a waste. Never mind. So these guys should be able to take Sfax next turn. Zero three definitely a good call. And we can move this forward. And these guys in there and hit these up. And we get command points. Yeah, we'll stay there. We're unsupplied here, so we could add a truck to this if we wanted to. And also another cool thing you could do is you could place a new supply hub somewhere here. However, you want to make sure that your enemy is not going to be able to get into it. For example, we could place it under this unit. If I move this unit up, like there, and I could place the hub to here. There we go. Okay. It's really going to help you out when you're moving around, but you don't have to worry about supplying your own units like this one. Gonna have to go go attack Sphax right now. You might be able to take her on on this turn as well. 
Uh, but first we want to make sure that we are attacking what we need to be. So let's go like this. Yeah, 1-1 one, one attack, that's great. Can't actually get to there just yet, but we can get to there with these guys. So we're in. We took it, that's great. I'm gonna move to here. Get ready, these guys. Now, I think I'm gonna start killing off these guys because we can, again, the more turns they are, the more they'll actually get hurt by themselves. So you, you really only wanna attack here if you're not gonna, gonna get hurt yourself at all. Otherwise, you would be doing unnecessary risk. Taking unnecessary risks, I should say. Move closer, finish that off. You could move. I'll take the prisoners next time. You can stay. And this is going to stay there to protect it. This could go here and finish that off. And we're going to move this thing onto the supply to protect it. It's probably not necessary because there are really no enemy units over here, but and do it so why not do it. let's move on zero two to here take those prisoners and connect up the supplies and we'll attack this now this is a one two attack mm. let's start off with an airstrike again you can do it but the question is like why would you if you have an extra turn you don't need to go crazy right now. So we're going to go with uh, maybe set piece attack over here. Up here I'm going to go with suppressive fire. And then here we're going to do... Oh, here we could do uh, also suppressive fire. Yeah. But this thing could move forward over here. We're not going to... Actually, we, we're going to do the one one because that. And this tank can move like so. This thing is going to move into here to block it. And this is going to move down there to block that. You can move further. And that's it. This is there to protect the supply line. You can move forward, etc. Oh, yeah, we're fine. It's at this point the only mistakes you can make is if you're not watching for the tank position and they can get through to take over this some of your supply things, which is still then handleable. You could probably still win at this point, but it might make it a little bit more difficult. So this is at this point it's really just about I need to check the positioning of me and the enemy to make sure that we're not really like messing up. Right, so we're going to start this off with an airstrike on Carrion. We need to move the tank here, attack, and then move the tank away. Move these guys here, attack, and then move in on to the place. Great, and we can also get the supplies, so we'll do it. And then we'll move the rest of the people wherever they're needed. I'm gonna step over here. Use the I'm trying to again make sure that all of the paths are blocked. This thing can move. Oh, this thing can move here, so we'll do it. And then this could go down. This is gonna have to stay there to protect it. One one attack. Do we want a one one attack? How about you? Could you do better? Do one two attack, that's not very much better. Head. One one. It's not the best. We're gonna do one one over here and then this is going to move there. Good. This is staying there to block it. Move there to help. You move to here to protect that. These guys are gonna take the prisoners. And you can see that these units sort of, yeah, they're just, with, with the supply and everything, we just destroy them. Okay. Okay. And that's it. I mean, I guess I could move there and back. 
Grab the graph. Again, you could do the pl deploying here. It's not necessary at this point, but because you can easily take Nfidavi in two turns, not going to be a problem. I think I might move this group a bit closer. We should be fine on that. And this as well. Because we want to make sure we can get, get there in time. Finish them off. You can also see that they're all unsupplied, which is good for us. Not necessary at this point, but good. Okay. Move to here, kill off these guys. And then move further in that direction, I think. We can destroy this tank, so let's do it. Or nearly destroy it, I should say. These guys can move like so. We'll grab all the prisoners we can on the way, because why not? I'm gonna do a zero one attack here. Move this group. They move this tank, I don't know. Closer. Finish that off. And then move it even further in that direction. And move here and uh well I don't really think do we even need to attack. I'm gonna move this tank there actually. Because now that we don't need to block the tank that was here, we can just move ahead. And we definitely wanna use all the all the airstrikes on these guys up here. And we should also try to make sure that we are supplied here. So we could remove, uh, we, we could actually use the card that we got from uh, taking over Fate Pass. You want to use it right now. And you want to grab this thing and add the truck there. Okay. Here we're going to use, we can use anything. Yeah. Okay. You can do a one one now. Alright, we'll end the turn. And next turn we're gonna take Enfidavi, will and win. The game. So we'll start off with the airstrike. We'll do a 1-1 one, one from position. And we can move in. At this point you have one. You can continue fighting. I'm just gonna hit like some of these guys that are like obviously beneficial for us to hit, but it's not really necessary at this point. Yeah. So just gonna click OK. Then you can get a bit more prisoners or kill more of units if you would like. That's we're gonna end the scenario. And you can see that we have done all the main objectives like we were supposed to. All right, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more guides on other areas or if you'd like to see guides on different difficulties. Bye bye!